Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know.
deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. The machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes. 
and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I've been thinking about what we should do now. And with everything pulling us towards confrontation, maybe, maybe it's not too late for the humans to listen. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. 
there are ant- Droids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Come with us. You're awake now. Uh, finally. Well, I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. You're free now. I need to block the street. You stay right here, you fucking machine. Shit, what's wrong with you? You do as I say, you piece of junk. I want to replace You're free. You're free. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You're free.
playing up again. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Attack!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these Deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong. My actions were determined by statistical data. I'm not a deviant. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe 
maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor, but I'm not gonna help you. Connor, I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been ordered to return to Cyberlife. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave immediately. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of so setting fire these days. Eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Absurd. He'd never choose that. I need to think like Hank.
The android that murdered its owner. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. shot you. I, I didn't mean to destroy you. I didn't want to hurt anyone. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho. dead than live without her. Tracy? 
Get the alarm! Now! 